Welcome to 2230, bringing you detailed news coverage without the fluff. Today, we are diving into a troubling situation that's unfolding in Bukit Merah, Singapore. A woman, who has been dubbed the neighbor from hell, has reportedly caused chaos yet again after her move from Pungal. Her disruptive behavior previously forced six households in Pungal to move out, and now, her new neighbors in Bukit Merah are experiencing the same issues. According to Mr. Lin, a 55-year-old salesman who recently moved next to her, the nightmare began not long after he settled into his new home. She would often turn her radio up so loud that it could be heard from his bedroom, making it nearly impossible for him to get a good night's sleep. Even worse, she sometimes left the music blaring overnight, causing disturbances late into the next day. Mr. Lin shared recorded clips that captured the loud music playing at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., and even as early as 6 a.m. The noise doesn't stop at just loud music. Mr. Lin reported that she would slam her doors in the middle of the night, jolting him awake. Despite asking her to lower the volume, her response was that it wasn't her fault, the walls were just too thin. She even yelled at him during one encounter. The constant disturbances have severely affected Mr. Lin's mental health. He shared that sometimes, he doesn't even feel like staying in his own home due to the overwhelming stress caused by her actions. This isn't an isolated incident. The woman has a long history of disturbing her neighbors, going back to her time in Pungal. She allegedly played loud music, stomped on the floor, and even left bizarre items at her neighbor's doors, including a bloody pig's ear. Despite numerous police reports, her actions were deemed legally non-arrestable, leaving residents feeling helpless. Back then, six households on the same floor eventually moved out, unable to tolerate her behavior any longer. When the neighbor from hell moved to Bukit Merah in 2020, the disturbances resumed. Residents from eight different floors have lodged complaints about her noise, which includes slamming doors, dragging furniture, and playing music at high volumes for nearly 24 hours straight. Mr. Chen, a 70-year-old driver living in the same building, shared that the noise keeps him up at night, robbing him of sleep. Another resident, Mr. C.A.I., who works from home, described being startled by sudden loud noises. With police reports being filed regularly and no legal action taken against her, some residents are now considering moving out just to escape her. The situation begs the question, what can be done when the law is not enough to protect the peace and well-being of citizens? We would love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you ever experienced something similar? What would you do in this situation? Please leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. If you found this story informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more detailed news coverage like this. Your support helps us bring more stories to you.